weaning from therapy is done by progressively reducing the amount of CO2 removal while closely monitoring the patient. To reduce CO2 removal, reduce the sweep gas flow rate. After reducing the sweep gas flow rate, the new CO2 removal rate will display on the screen after approximately two minutes. The sweep gas flow rate can be reduced to zero while the blood flow is maintained to evaluate the patient's response to withdrawing therapy. This will disable the low CO2 removal alarm. Ending therapy with blood rinse back. Following therapy, the physician may decide to return blood from the circuit to the patient. Prior to rinse back, collect the following supplies. Hemolung rinse back kit, disinfectant solution, sterile precautions, sterile scissors, irrigation syringe, 500 milliliter bag of saline. To end therapy and enter rinse back mode, press submenu followed by end therapy. Once rinse back mode is entered, the pump will stop and cannot be restarted without power cycling the controller. Press continue to proceed. Hang the saline bag on the controller. Open the rinse back kit. Close the blue clamp on the IV tubing and spike the saline bag. Fill the drip chamber at least halfway and then prime the IV tubing to remove the air from the line. Clamp the blue lumen on the catheter. Clamp the blue tube approximately 20 centimeters from the catheter connection. Next, clean and disinfect a 30 centimeter length of the blue blood tubing, starting at the catheter barb connector and moving towards the cartridge. With both clamps closed, cut the blue tube between the clamp and the catheter barb connector in the previously cleaned area. Using a 30 milliliter saline filled syringe, provide irrigation for the connection of the priming spike barb connector and the blue tubing. Ensure there is no air trapped in the tube. Open the clamp on the blue tube and the blue clamp on the priming spike barb connector. Saline will begin to flow by gravity through the cartridge, rinsing the blood back to the patient. Once the blood is returned, close the clamp on the blue tube and the priming spike barb connector. Clamp the red tubing. Remove the catheter using standard clinical procedures for removing large bore central venous catheters. Ending therapy without blood rinse back. Following therapy, the physician may decide that returning blood to the patient is not necessary. Press and hold the pump start stop button to stop the pump. Clamp both catheter lumens. Clamp both blood tubes approximately 15 centimeters from the catheter connection. Remove the catheter using standard clinical procedures for removing large bore central venous catheters. For complete instructions, refer to the Hemolung RAS instructions for use.